We're out with the family digging some butter clams. We're gonna smoke some and jar them. And uh, we're also gonna cook some on the half shell and steam some. <laughs> got a nice minus die, got up this morning here and froze up, but we're uh, digging up some clams here. It's mostly all butter, but uh, you'll see them. We're getting a few in here, but uh, I'll show you how we cook them up around here, so stay tuned. Well, we got a couple buckets. Little steamers, some cockles, some butter oh, clams. Just picked a spot over there on the beach. Beautiful day out here this morning. Cold, clear, no rain. All next week's gonna be solid rain. Someone sleeping. <laughs> all right, so uh, we're just putting them off on the table because we don't want to bend over. They should have been kept their rain gear on, but it's smarter. But we're just trying to give them a nice little rinse. And uh, I also wanted to show you a little difference in the clams. So if you look here, Another cockle. So these are these are cockles. They got the deep veins, super sweet. They have uh, kind of the taste of almost like a shrimp. They're really sweet. This one has a lot of brown. Has a big neck on it. They get way bigger than this. But these you have to clean specially. I'm gonna go try to dig some of these. They make really good cram clam strips. Uh, they make uh, chowder, really good chowder. But uh, these are horse clams, and they get way bigger. I mean, they'll get a couple pounds. And uh, it's a smaller variety we just kind of ran across. These are the butter clams. And we're going to cook these on the half shell, and I'm going to smoke some of them and jar them. But the design on them, um, the, the ribs, if you want to call them, or the layers, they go only one direction. All of these are all butter clams. They only go one direction. There's nothing different. Same with the horse clam, but it's just got a little different shell. It's really used, oh, it got this really dark layering on the outside. On a steamer clam, the steamers have two directions. So they go this way, or they call them little necks, but they go this way and this way. So you got your steamers, you've got your butters, and you've got your cockles and your horse clam. And that's, and now I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm gonna put everything over here, the steamers, the cockles, the small butters, and we're just gonna sort this whole pile out, find any duds. All the bigger ones, those are gonna go for the smoking and uh, frying up on the half shell. There's a stud right there, that's a big one. Sorted larger butter clams and some of the horse clams are all in this pile. We're putting them in, and those are the smaller ones. So, are you sorting them? Yeah, I was gonna throw the steamers on top. Alright, so we're just putting them in here. If we just hold this over the edge and start dropping them in, they're all gonna break. So, um, just put them in here, put them in these bags, and they're gonna hang them off my boat. You can use milk crates, you can use buckets, um, holes in them, preferably, because as they're purging, you got a lot of sand inside their shell. And uh, when they purge, you want them to go out of these holes, and we'll just, every day, we'll come down here and we'll give the bag a couple shakes, and it'll let all the, it's sort of nice, but... And uh, it'll let all the sand come out, so it's nice and neat, really nice clean clam. Alright, here in southeast Alaska we have black abalone. Um, you do southern Washington, Oregon, um, California, they get a lot of reds and they're a lot bigger. 
These guys are thin shell. I love the shells. Um, abalone are okay to eat, but they're not one of my favorites. So I just kind of score this little membrane on the back, and you should be able to just pop it out with your thumb. Like so. See how clean it is? Just work it around with your thumb. And now you got a really nice, pretty shell. There it is. I usually save all these. I haven't done anything with them yet, but I keep swearing I'm gonna. But you just pull all of its uh, entrails. away and this is where its mouth is and I just carve that off this little part of its foot is still really good to eat so I don't trim it off a lot of people trim it off but uh, the water a little bit but I do dish brush but it really gets the black off. The black can have kind of a little bit of a bitter taste. And I just use a dish brush or steel wool like I'm using now. And you don't have to get 100% of it off, but it definitely tastes better to get a lot of it off. And that is what's left in the scallop. That's the bottom side, that's centered in the shell. And those are our clams for tonight. We're gonna go over next door. Because my house is kind of a mess. I'm still working on a bunch of projects, so we're gonna cook over there. But uh, I'll show you how to season the flour and fry these up, and uh, we're gonna have some company over. All right, so let me brown up like so. Let's start pulling them. Then come taste them. Looks like them. Hot. Uh -huh. I'll try them a little. Okay. Okay, just, you're just repeating the process. 